Hi! A lot of people ask me about my animation process, and stay tuned because it's kind of long and it kind of explains why my upload schedule is not the best. But you can see into my process, and maybe it can help you make your animations look really clean and have pretty rendering like mine. This is also a bit inspired by Sashley's How I Animate video. You should watch her video too, she's pretty cool. So, what do I use? For the most part, I use a Huion GT221 and a Gaomon PD156 tablet. They're sponsoring me, wow! Paint Tool Sai, Adobe Animate, Sony Vegas, and After Effects. That's a lot of programs, and two different tablets. How could I possibly use them all? Well. I will explain all of that after a quick unboxing of the Gaomon tablet along with my general review of it. The box was relatively easy to open. And thankfully came with no damage since it was packed rather carefully. It came with a case, glove, stand, screen cleaner, and a pen holder. All of which my previous tablet did not have, which is always a plus. Only downside is that the glove is only for righties, but I think they offer left-handed gloves on their website. As for the general actual review of it, setting it up had a little bit of problems, but I forgive that since most tablets generally do. It just wasn't tracking my pen properly, but after a bit of Twitter help, I fixed the problem within an hour tops. The pen was very responsive, felt great to hold, and generally this is a great tablet to start out with if you're using a screen tablet for the first time. I will be honest and say that this is not the tablet for me because the screen is only 15 and a half inches. That's just a teeny bit too small for me. I prefer bigger screen tablets, but not everyone has the space or even prefers bigger tablets. I can even name several popular animators who prefer smaller screen tablets. For some, it's just easier to work with, but not me. That being said, despite my personal gripes, it was relatively easy to work with, and I even did the line art for my spin me right round animation on this tablet. And here's where we get to the progress of that. How did I animate that? How many steps were there? Why in God's name do I have to use so many programs? Let's find out! Step 1 Extremely rough chicken scratch sketches This is for me to just generally get a feel of what I want and just scribble out my ideas. If I try to make it too clean, there's a chance that I'll start to hate it and in response start to hate the entire animation. So we embrace it looking bad for now just for the sake of ideas. If you have trouble making storyboards and it stresses you out like me, honestly, you should do this. Embrace Chicken Scratch. You can clean it later. This was done in Sai and Vegas because Adobe products are nice, but they make me want to tear my hair out if I'm trying to use them for something simple. So I use them for the hard cleaning part. Step 2! Less rough, but still rough and choppy sketches. As you can see, it's a lot cleaner now, but I'm still not satisfied with the sketch. Also, it's kind of choppy since I quickly animated it in Psy. This is so I have a better idea of what's going on here, but I can still clean it up a bit in Flash. Step 3! Cleaning this all up in Flash. The red and blue lines are what I did in Flash, and the black lines are the original Psy sketch. I know it's hard to see, but the red and the blue are a lot smoother motion-wise and don't jump around the place nearly as much. Step 4! Porting this back to Psy because I'm insane and prefer working in it, and also adding the hair physics. In my experience, this part is just generally better to do separate from the main animation as it's a lot easier to not have jumpy, choppy hair physics when you don't include them in the base animation. However, everyone animates differently, and you're free to animate however you want. Step 5! Lining. The most annoying part, probably. It's kind of straightforward, but I make the sketch more clean and easier to look at. Step 6. Flat coloring. Again, pretty straightforward. Simple, but time consuming, especially with those stripes. Ugh. But I did it, and 
here it is. Step seven, basic shape. Here I add basic rendering. Once again, pretty straightforward, but time consuming. I just add a light source and I keep shading and shading until I do every single frame. Step eight. I blurred that shading by hand though, because I think doing it by hand lets you leave some hard marks, which makes it just generally look more dynamic. I do a lot of unnecessary things, but it's fun. And I like getting in the nitty gritty of animation because I'm weird and I like to have every frame look somewhat like full render drawings. Step nine. And last but not least, I edit everything together in After Effects. This is the most fun part for me. I love editing and now that I have After Effects, it's just so much easier and I can do so many more dynamic things. It's, I, I can't wait to make more stuff in it. I promise more stuff is on the way. Just gotta get these ad videos out of the way, but I promise that I'm already working on an animation. You don't, you don't have to wait for too much longer. That's about it. Thank you for watching, and I hope to upload an actual animation soon. Stay tuned, and if you can't wait, there's always Patreon and you can watch my whips on there. I won't leave you guys hanging for too long. Bye bye. Thank you for watching.